Hello pandas and welcome back to another scrapping guide. On today's episode, we're going to jump into a flat screen TV. Now some of you may have some questions about scrapping a TV for gold and other precious metals, or how to make money from a scrap flat screen TV. Well, it just so happens I have something from way back in the archives that uh, for one reason or another I didn't get out until now. So, please keep in mind, we learn all throughout our lives, and I have learned a few things about better ways to make money from a flat screen TV since making this footage. However, I still think it has value. It's not just for fun, but what follows is one way to scrap a flat screen TV. So please enjoy, and at the end I'd like to come back here and add in a few pieces of information that I think are important to ensure this is a complete guide. With that in mind, please enjoy, and if you do, quick reminder to hit the like button or consider subscribing because it helps this channel a lot. Thanks a lot. Hey YouTube, and welcome to episode 5 of Money From Nothing, the mini-series where I, Thub, show you how to make the most money in the least time from commonly discarded devices you're likely to find. In today's episode, we're going to be ripping into a flat panel TV, something I see a lot of. Now, I'm not 100% sure exactly what tools we'll need, so I just grabbed all of my favorites. Let's flip this thing over and get into it. First thing is a ton of screws. Let's fast forward this part. Well, that was a lot of screws. Here's the first thing a magnet you pulled out of a microwave can be useful for. Now let's lift some panels off. Useless. Wow. Just look at all that stuff. This one probably wasn't cheap. What about in there? Oh, hey. There it is. Well, that's too heavy to be anything but steel. Now let's just start ripping out every screw we can find. Okay, what's next? Ow. Leave that one for later. Yeah, that means that's aluminum. What? Now it's aluminum. More wires. More tape. And of course, more screws. More wires. Now these ones actually have gold-plated pins in them. So I'll add that to the pile of stuff that's got gold in it. These little ribbon cables are not gold-plated. Sometimes they are. Just look for the color. The fact that they're not gold means they're probably silver. Am I going to keep that? No. Now here's an interesting little bit. I'm willing to bet it's non-magnetic. Yeah. But, two things. One, the color, the density, how heavy it feels, and the detail in the casting makes me feel like it's probably not cast aluminum, but probably zinc. Zinc's worth money too, so you keep that. I'm gonna be honest with you, with these boards, the best money is in throwing them out because it takes so much of your time to actually pick all the little things off. And if you live in the States, there's a couple websites you could send them to. I don't have that option. That's what you want. You got these little gold rimmed chips, these little tantalum capacitors. Am I gonna take the time to pick those off? Probably. There's another board. Here's another slab of zinc. Here's another board. Come on now. There we go. 
Those are all gold-plated connectors as well. Miserable. I say miserable because it's hard to decide what to do with them. Because it's gold! Interesting. Now there's some gold-plated bits. And that is also gold-plated. There's a lot of gold-plated stuff on this one. Not gold-plated. Good. Surprisingly elaborate paint sink design. I get the feeling this TV was really expensive. Oh, I was wrong. Those ones are the tantalum capacitors. And maybe those ones too. These little brown ones with silver ends are the monolithium ceramic capacitors. There we go. Now this is the part you want to watch out for. Typically these flat panel TVs are filled with mercury gas, which is really bad for you. So if it's already broken, great. If it's not already broken, don't break it. Or you're gonna have a bad time. Ooh. Aluminum. because each and every one of these little ribbons running all the way around is gold plated <sighs> which sounds like it would be great it's not it just takes forever but because it's gold it's hard to refuse it should definitely be wearing safety glasses So a little Now this is the point where you just gotta be real with yourself. It's already taken me more than a half an hour to get this far. And all of those little pieces of gold are not even worth a dollar. And this piece here ah, weighs about 10 pounds. If I took all the glass off, it's probably going to be about five pounds. But the real question here is, how long is that going to take me to remove all of these little pieces of glass? And that whole layer of glass. And all of this double-sided tape, because holy cow, there's a lot of that there. The point is, what is your time worth? Five pounds? That's five bucks? If I could somehow find something big enough to scrape it all off in, like, 30 seconds or a minute, then that would be worth doing. But otherwise, is this worth doing? No, oh, man. And what else is in here? Bunch of plastic and glass. So let's recap. We've got a couple pieces of aluminum, a couple pieces of zinc, and a few wires. And a whole bunch of circuit boards that have chunks of aluminum and tiny bits of gold. Now I've got another smaller, more common type here, so just for fun, let's blast through this one as quick as possible and see what's in that. Less than this one. 
There it is. Only piece worth grabbing, and it's honestly not even worth it. And that's it. That's all. Don't break it open. So, flat panel TVs are rich in MLCCs, gold-plated boards, and tiny little switches if you have little electronic product or projects to work on. Other than that, there's not a whole lot in them. So, if you've got somewhere to send the boards, great. Is it worth it? You decide. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time, and until then, do the thing. Well, that was a fun afternoon. And I want to be clear, it was a really fun afternoon. But we're talking about making money from a flat screen TV. So, if we add it all up, what we got out of there, maybe a dollar worth of aluminum and then some very small amounts of uh, tantalum capacitors, MLCCs, which I believe are monolithium ceramic capacitors, and some gold plated bits and pieces, it was definitely less than $2 for a flat screen TV. So fun? Sure. Worth it? D no. Definitely not. However, I also, here in Canada, do not have access to boardsort.com. I've contacted them, it's not, there's no money in it for people up here. There's always the eBay option, but if you are in the States, you probably can get decent money. I don't know how much, I've never done it. If the screen itself isn't broken, for my time, I think the best money would be identifying whether the TV is a valuable one, and then being the person to buy the, the replacement board from eBay, slap it in there, and sell the TV as a working unit, if you can identify what part is wrong with it. The good money is in parting them out, provided you can identify which parts are still good. Now that's a totally different skill set. And you still have the, the gold-plated board from the top of the screen, so you get to do both. But scrapping just for scrap value? Absolutely not. You saw, it took me most of a day to get through one, like, fully stripped down. Granted, it was a complicated one, but still, there's too many screws. Now, as a final point, what I personally do, because eBay has never been a super profitable endeavor for me, I still collect TVs, but I sell broken TVs to people who repair TVs. If you search Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, those sorts of spots, you will likely find a listing from someone who wants to buy broken TVs. So long as you live in a big enough center. If you live in a tiny town, well, I don't know. Granted, it's not a lot, but if somebody's gonna give me 10, 15, 20 bucks for a TV that I haven't even opened, all I did was find it, well, that sounds like a great value, and I will happily be a broken TV bounty hunter. Now do with that information what you will, but that is everything I know about making money from a broken flat screen TV. If there's anything I've left out, please fill us in in the comments below. Same place, I'd love to see the next non-working object you'd like to see cracked open and turned into money. Thanks as always, leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.